Today, in this very rainy weather, we have the privilege of being able to show you this beautiful, and when I say beautiful, I mean gorgeous home for sale in LBG or La Vista Grand Villages. <laughs> La Vista. we have the privilege of being able to show you this beautiful and when I say beautiful I mean gorgeous mansion for sale in Loyola Grand Villas Quezon City but first make sure you hit like click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos we're on Facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Priscello underscore official my name is Julia and welcome to another Priscello open house tour so from entering the pedestrian gate we have here a covered two-car carport and you also have one on the other side so in total you can have four cars that is covered with your carport but you can still fit about maybe two more on the side over there so for a total of four uh, around six to seven vehicles isn't that nice Okay, so it is a bit rainy, so I don't think I'd be able to show you the side of the house, but hold on to your seats, folks, because the interior is amazing. Not that this isn't amazing already. Okay, sorry, mind holding this? So the facade alone is enough to tell you that this is a special home, right? So you got all white and then you have this nice double wooden double doors to which I will open for you in awe. Look at this! It is a beautiful white home and this is what will welcome you. Your foyer has this nice little touch of a centerpiece with this beautiful chandelier up top. You know what? You could probably do a beautiful word count in the video somewhere because I'm probably gonna say it a lot, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so from here, you can see your main staircase, which not gonna lie, kind of reminds me of that um, Beauty and the Beast and princessy types of stories, right? And to your left, hello, we have Okay, <laughs> nobody. And to your left, we have your living room where, well, Don and Diana are sitting. <laughs> Hello, I'm so sorry. And as you continue on, you will be welcomed to your formal dining area with again that matching chandelier, which looks so gorgeous. Or should I say, beautiful for that beautiful count. <laughs> Okay, so from here, actually, kanina pagdating namin, medyo may araw pa. It was still raining, pero medyo may araw pa. And you can see the light streaming in from these really big windows. But right now, since it is about 5.19, medyo dumidilim na, and again, it's rainy. But I know you are still able to see the beautiful blue sky outside. Okay, so on your right, we have here bedroom number one. So it's a perfect 
uh, elderly room or guest room since it is close to the main entrance and it's on the ground floor, very easily accessible. And what makes it perfect as a bedroom slash guest bedroom slash elderly room is that it has an ensuite, toilet and bath, complete with a glass enclosure, water closet, and sink. And then right across is a theater room. Yes, folks, a theater room. So you've got carpeting on the ground. You've got, well, you've got painted walls instead of acoustic boards, but the sound here is pretty nice. Okay, so sabi nga no owner eh, no wala na entertainment system because now it's all just Netflix. So you have all these DVDs over here, but I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter. You can still have your Netflix and chill in a place like this, and that would be fire. <laughs> So you might be wondering, okay, so if you're gonna entertain guests here, where's the powder room? Well, it's right here. Their powder room, nice and spacious with a huge sink and a complete water closet. Okay, so that's just on the right side of the dining area. Let's go to the other side. As you can see, all of this is so clean, literally, literally clean and Design-wise, also has clean lines. Not to mention, it's got white walls. So clean on clean on clean. And then all of a sudden, you've got your kitchen. Still clean. But then, it's a stark contrast from the all-white. So here you've got some reddish or cherry wood color. And it pops so nicely amongst all of the white. So your kitchen has all of this counter space. And you have an island counter with a sink. Super convenient for preparing food with friends or entertaining guests. Especially since you have your breakfast nook right across your uh, counter. And you have a family room right here. So you can tell that the family spends most of their time in here. In the kitchen, the family area, and in their breakfast nook. And then from your breakfast nook, actually also from your living area, but they closed that one off have access to the back yard which isn't really a yard more of a swimming pool look at this blue and sparkling swimming pool I mean at least I hope it's sparkling in the video but it's nice and blue and if you're wondering what those white sheets are well I'm gonna show you so on the left side although it is currently um, because it is raining is your pool area so measure off limits <laughs> but the white sheets are there to protect it from the rain this is also where they stored their uh, gym equipment and you have here stairs that lead up to the second floor we'll get to that in a bit then on the other side also by the way just check out the flooring you've got machuca like tiles i mean these are not of course authentic machuca because machuca tiles are literally per square so this is one whole tile, it's a 60 by 60, but still, nice touch, right? Okay, so on this side, you've got more seating arrangements. So obviously, this is where they would prefer to entertain guests. So just roll up these sheets, um, expose the swimming pool all the way to the billiards area. You have an entertainment haven. And also, sorry, hold on, this is the part where I was saying you could technically fit in more cars over this way. So right now, it's a garden. It's a very lush garden, mind you. But the owners were thinking, well, if you really wanted more car park slots, you could just turn this into a rock garden or an asphalt uh, pavement. And just, you know, add, add more carports. <laughs> but honestly, I think it's fine on its own. Okay. From here, from the pool, you can see the dining area and your main entrance. Oh, what a mansion. Okay, let's go back in. <laughs> and from your breakfast nook, you can go back to your formal dining area. And this is your view. All right, comment down below if you think this is a proper mansion and a very modern and clean and timeless one. And when I say modern, I don't mean um, I don't mean modern lines or like ultra modern geometric shapes. This is more of a, it's a colonial revival of sorts. Georgian. Georgian. Yeah, there we go. It's a colonial or Georgian type of design. That's 
Very traditional, minus all the embellishments. Although they did keep some of them. Okay, so but before we head up, let's go back in here. So this is where your kitchen is, right? This door leads to your... Hello po! Sorry. <laughs> this door leads to your service area. And when I say service area, I mean your everyday kitchen, your... Hello, Kitty! Good <laughs> Hi! Your... Uh, where was I? Your daily kitchen, your prep area, which they have now turned, thanks to the quarantine, into a sort of isolation desk where every new delivery is put right here, sanitized before it's actually used in the home, which is very smart. And this is their laundry area. So right now, it's not currently being used as a laundry area, but it is. Your provisions are there. So ideally, literally, this is your service area. And this is your storage. And then these two rooms are both rooms for your staff. So each room can hold two staff. And then they will be sharing the toilet and bath right here. So there are personal items inside. And they are literally inside as well, so I can't go in and show you. But it's nice and spacious. And again, they have this entire area to work in. And honestly, that's very convenient. They don't have to go like everywhere around the house just to do the things that they need to do. They can just chill right here, work, whatever it is that they need to do, and get on with their day. And then from the everyday kitchen, we have the actual dirty kitchen. Hello! Are you friendly? No? Okay, all right, so they're kittens. <laughs> so you have the extra everyday kitchen where you have another stove, more sinks, and then the rest of the storage. All right, uh, sorry, I pumasok siya. Is she allowed? All right, anyways. <laughs> so this one is where the breakers are. It's also where they store their water and other things. And then this one is where they store the gas. So, very easy for maintenance. All they have to do is access it from the side of the house because this one leads back out into the two-car or the covered carport. Okay, let's go back inside. Oof. The other kitty went inside though. Did she go inside the house? Oh no. Oh no. Why did the kitty go? Any anyways. <laughs> Hi, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm a fan of Diana. <laughs> okay, so from the kitchen area, from the utility area, we are now back to our main entrance and we're gonna go up the main stairs. This video is sponsored by Carousel, the leading online platform for buying and selling new and secondhand goods. In Carousel, everyone wins. Buy, sell, give. Anything goes. Can't help it. When you go up these stairs, you just kind of have to stare at everything. A, the design is beautiful. The B, the details are just marvelous. And C, everything is so clean. How old is this house? 15 years old? Man, I have seen a lot of houses, especially ones that have been pre-loved or pre-owned. And this is the cleanest house I've ever seen. It's even comparable to a brand new house that's newly or freshly painted. And those houses are dustier than this one, not gonna lie. Okay, so on the second floor, you have this beautiful wooden floor, right? And these are Nara planks. Ah, you just know that you're about to go into bedroom territory when the wood or when the floor changes from tile to wood. <laughs> okay, but before we go there, let's go over here. So on this side of the house, you can go either way. Let's check this one out. And this is bedroom number two. So it's a corner room. You've got a view of the front of your house and also the side. And of course, you have an ensuite toilet and bath. You also have here a walk in closet. Okay, so there are still personal items in there, but again, can you believe it? For a house that is currently being used, it's so neat. Okay, so the other room right across is basically the same, just a mirror image. So apart from this room having more green <laughs> colors or accents to it, you have essentially the same space and a mirror image of the ensuite toilet and bath. 
then you also have the same walk-in closet. So like I said, it's completely mirrored. The difference being the other room had a window facing the front of the house and this one has access to a balcony on the back of the house. So let's just go here real quick. Wow, un fresco. <laughs> I mean, just look at this, guys. This is your, well, it's not a balcony balcony, but <laughs> it's your balcony. It's so wide, actually. There is seating available. They just covered it for the rain and for the cats, as you have seen. So they are trying to preserve the furniture. <laughs> So if you're, in case you're wondering what that is, that is just a bunch of furniture that's covered up. Again, because it's raining. So you have your balcony over here and you have even more space over here that is not covered. Perfect for entertaining guests. And then this one is the top of your swimming pool. So they have a net covering the pool. That way the leaves don't drop into the pool unnecessarily. And then, oh, there's another key. That's a kitty, right? <laughs> so that one is the stairs that leads down near the pool area or the gym equi equipment if you remember. I really like this house. It's nice and white and clean and has lots of cats. <laughs> okay, let's go back in here so I can show you the rest of the floor because I'm telling you guys it's amazing. Okay. So back out into the hall. And I want you to just look at that. Just look at it. It's like a very, very white Hogwarts, but very clean. <laughs> so you have this family area, which they actually used as a study hall a few years ago. But now, since the kids are all grown up and, you know, they're not studying here anymore, they just decided to turn it into a library. So they have their memorabilia in glass cases and their books. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you click on the subscribe button because we would like to know if you guys appreciate our videos and that's one solid way of letting us know. Or maybe you've been wanting to subscribe to us but have just been forgetting. So that's a friendly reminder. Okay, so from here, you also have access to the same balcony that we just came from a few minutes ago. So we don't really need to go out there but I will show you the rest of the floor. Okay, so right in front of this library, you have bedroom number four. So you have all of this space. You've got this beautiful built-in. So the difference, this one, this one actually matches the library right outside. Then you have an ensuite for the bath. And speaking of furniture, a lot of the furniture will actually come with the house. So the owners, of course, will be taking uh, their personal items and or, and or the items that have sentimental value, but some of the furniture will be staying. Okay. Oh man, just look at that. All of that detail. Detailed but still minimalist. They struck that balance. Sobrang galing. Okay, let me just put this one aside. <laughs> so you have your master bedroom or bedroom number five. Ah, oh, man, all of the furniture fit. Like, they match. You have your vanity, your desk, your main bed. And just look at all the details. Right? Okay. So from your main bedroom, you have this door that leads to your walk-in closet on either side. So you have his and hers. So very, oh my gosh, very organized. So you have all of these open shelves with hanging rods, um, shelves for your shoes, drawers, and it's the same for the other side. And then, oh man, But at the end of the hall, you have the actual Toilet and bath. It's so spacious and so clean and white. And I'm not gonna lie, among the hundreds of videos that we have here in pre -Solo, this is probably the house where I stand out the most because everything is so white 
and everything that I am wearing is the opposite. <laughs> and I love it. Okay, so I think we've just about uh, covered all of the ground on the second floor. It's time for a recap. Okay, so in case you were wondering, did Julia mention sizes? No, I did not. <laughs> so you've got more or less 1,200 square meters of floor area. So yeah, guys, in case you were wondering throughout the video, like, wow, that's a lot of ground to cover because it is, you've got 1,200 square meters of floor area and about 900 square meters of lot area. Conversion, I cannot do the math in my head. You've got 12,916 square feet of floor area and 9,687 square feet of lot area. For those of you to, who prefer the English or the metric, you have both numbers there. You've got five bedrooms, seven toilet and baths. You've got two carports, both of which cover two vehicles each. So that's four, but then you can fit about three more. So four or five, you've got seven carports. You've got your formal dining area, your breakfast nook, your family area on the ground floor, your library or your study, this gorgeous foyer with the uh, living room on the side and that beautiful ping, <laughs> kitchen right on the side of the dining area. And oh my gosh, the main thing about this house really is its design. It, it's, it's design and its cleanliness and its location, which again is in Loyola Grand Villas in Quezon City, near Katipunan. So you're near Ateneo, Miriam. You're also near um, UP TC and UP Mismo. <laughs> so if you or anyone you know is interested in a place like this, or if you want to see it for yourself, please do send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs> <laughs>